as a Catholic, uh, I have to take a moment first to talk about the Pope. I made no secret of the fact that I love Pope Francis. He's acknowledged. That's the man. Everybody loves Frankie. He's acknowledged climate change, and before that, he said everyone's welcome into heaven, even atheists. Not to mention the time he did the cinnamon challenge. He got. He got over a million views. It's incredible. This is not your father's pope. Although, technically, he is our father's pope. <laughs> and this weekend, Il Papa dropped another bombshell when asked if he agreed with a German cardinal who said in the wake of the Orlando tragedy that gays deserve an apology from the church, Francis said, I believe that the church should apologize to the person who is gay whom it has offended. <laughs> yeah. I'll join in. I'll join in. It is a huge step to admit that the church should apologize to the person who is gay. <laughs> Next step, admitting that there's more than one of them. <laughs> now, this apology is a huge moment for my church in terms of accepting homosexuality. In fact, it was such big news that it overshadowed some of the lesser apologies the Pope made on behalf of the church this weekend. Well, as the Pope of late night, I, um... <laughs> I'm prepared to pass on the Pope's apologies to you right now. This is The Late Show's Lesser Pope Apologies. <laughs> first, first, His Holiness would like to apologize. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, guys. Hold on, John. Hold on. This feels off for some reason. Um, I pope this up a little bit. Hold on one second. <laughs> pope this up a little bit. Get a little pope right there. I would like to apologize <laughs> for the holy water in that bowl when you first come into the church. That water is sister all day. It's like a petri dish. It's less sanitary than a bowl of mints at a diner. How often do they change that water? Would it kill us to put a little chlorine in there, okay? It's going to pass around disease like herpes at a summer camp. <laughs> the Holy See would like to express regret for the church's obsession with gold leaf, okay? It's a bit ostentatious. <laughs> Truly, that money could have been used to feed orphans or close the poor, etc. I just realized that it makes the Vatican look like Trump Plaza. It's tacky. <laughs> No more. Basta. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got to apologize for all the standing and the kneeling during the Mass, okay? It's hard on the joints. You know, frankly, it doesn't matter if you're sitting or standing or kneeling or lying down. You showed up, God can see you. <laughs> also, let's face it, Catholic weddings are way too long, okay? <laughs> There is no need to have a two-hour mass during the ceremony, okay? We get it. You love each other through the sickness and the health probably already did it after all, you know? <laughs> you get the rings, you have a kiss, let's hit the open bar, baby, because I got my eye on the maid of honor over there. <laughs> She's going to catch more than the bouquet tonight, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. I'm infallible. <laughs> the Catholic Church is also very sorry for saying that uh, we should save old pieces of saints, like St. Saint Peter's pinky, or St. Anthony's tongue, or St. What's-His-Name femur, and saying, oh, they're magic. Okay, we're not a traveling carnival. That's just gross, okay? <laughs> there is a name for old human body parts. It's medical waste. <laughs> and personally, I would like to apologize about church dinners and the abomination that is macaroni salad. <laughs> That's not a salad. It's basically macaroni and mayonnaise, okay? <laughs> Call it macaroni and mayonnaise, it's what it is. And speaking of apologies, sorry about the Crusades, uh, the Inquisition, and uh, for not taking sides in World War II, okay? We really, we really blew that one. It was sort of a gimme, you know? We'll be right back with Kevin Love.